Hi everybody, welcome to my homestead and welcome to my channel. In this video, I wanted to cover uh, what Elder Dean M. Davies, uh, same last name as me by the way, but no relation that I that I know of. Um, he passed away recently and there's this article here that talks about some interesting things that he said and kind of what his vision was for Temple Square. Um, so we're going to cover that. Uh, but if you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel, like this video if you end up liking it hit the notification bell, and please make sure to leave comments and let me know what you think about Temple Square and, and what we're about to cover. So, the title of the article is Remembering Elder Dean M. Davies, who said the church wanted Temple Square to become a Christian destination like the Vatican. And, uh, and when they say that, I'm sure they just mean as far as like a central hub or like a, a place to come visit for spiritual reasons. So, um, as you know, <clears throat> right now, there's a big renovation thing that's going on on uh, Temple Square, and I actually didn't know this until I came across this article. It also includes uh, this area over by the church office building on the other side of the, the Main Street Plaza, and I'm going to show you uh, what I'm talking about and, and what that's going to look like. But here you see the temple. Uh, they're doing stuff with the temple itself. Uh, there's renovations that are going on. Uh, they're doing a thing to make it even more earthquake uh, protected. Uh, they're doing something called an isolated base on the temple, so that's really neat. And then they're just like doing a, a just a big overhaul of Temple Square, and it, I think it's gonna be really neat once it's done. So um, we're gonna go down here, and uh, during a press conference <clears throat> that they were uh, doing about this renovation. Um, there's something interesting that that Bishop Davies had to say. Uh, he said there haven't been too they haven't there haven't been really too many questions about the renovation of the plaza to the east," said Bishop Dean M. Davies. He was the first counselor in the presiding bishopric. That's a, a pretty significant effort. Also, all I would add on that is that we want to make the plaza area to the east of the temple even more public and friendly. There will be a new seat. There will be new seating areas, new corridors. It's something that you ought to contemplate. Also, uh, it's not just the temple, but it includes all the way to State Street. That will be an integral integral part of this as we tie together Temple Square into one great whole. So, what he's talking about, okay? Uh, here I have Temple Square. Let me zoom out. Here we have Temple Square, right? And up until this point, uh, you've had the traditional Temple Square, which goes down here along West Temple, and then down here on um, South Temple. And then in 1999, okay, so this square right here, this is the traditional Temple Square. And this is where uh, there's like the wall that encompasses this entire uh, perimeter. In 1999, the church purchased this portion right here of Main Street. So this this road right here, this is Main Street. Here's the uh, conference center, and um, and so what happened is essentially Temple Square kind of extended when they when they did that. They still left the the walls up around the traditional Temple Square, but then you had this Main Street Plaza where you have the reflecting pool right here and um you know whenever it's christmas time they have all these kind of like these uh displays set up of the nativity all along here there's all there include you know in addition to the christmas lights that they have here on temple square proper they also put christmas lights over here so uh up until this point this has been considered kind of temple square the traditional temple square and the main street plaza now what they're going to do, okay, so <clears throat> first it went from West Temple to Main Street, and then they did the Main Street Plaza, and now it's going to extend all the way over here to State Street, and over here, this is where you have uh, the church office building, you have the Joseph Smith Memorial Building, right, none of that's going to change, uh, what they're talking about is this area right here, that's going to change, and um, this is a rendering of what they want it to look like uh, once this is all completed. Um, again, here it is right here. 
as it looks today. Uh, you can see that there's like there's this uh, kind of square thing right here. This is the like a big fountain, and I guess it's been leaking for a long time. And uh, you know they have other plans for this area, which is kind of sad because I always enjoyed that fountain. It's like it's a really big, really cool fountain when it's going. Um, in fact, they have pictures of it right here. It just, you know, it, it really shoots tons of water up into the air, and it looks really cool. And it was really a popular place to, to take pictures. Um, so that that's going to be going away, unfortunately. That's just my, you know, my personal preference. Um, is I, I kind of wish that that was still going to be there. Um, but here's a video here that's going to show kind of like a, another rendition of what it's going to look like. Uh, right here to the right, this is the church office building. Okay, it's this right here. So the, the camera view is kind of like looking this way. This right here, this is the church administration building. And this is the building where the general authorities have their offices. Um, so this is really kind of like the real headquarters of the church right here as far from a, you know, of course the temple is, but like as far as like office buildings and stuff like that, this is basically the the center of it all right here this building um so i'm gonna play a little bit of this video i'm gonna put this link down in the description so you can check it out too but here's what it look what it actually looks like today right here, again here's where the the fountain is and you know it's already pretty nice like if you come over here you definitely have a good view of the temple but they they want to just change all this up and uh make it even better so that's what it looks like right now and then we're gonna move forward and it's gonna show you what it's gonna look like uh, once this is all done all right so here they're gonna they're gonna do this big kind of like oval feature with yeah plenty of areas to kind of sit uh, which which that's great because I can imagine like sitting over here um, and then just kind of looking at the temple it you know, you have all the all the flags of the world that are going to go around, just emphasizing even more that this is a global church, um, which, it, you know, that was already kind of emphasized with the church office building because it's not very clear right here, but um, on the church office building, you have these uh, globes right here, um, just, you know, showing that, again, that it's a global church, but they're going to give added emphasis with all these flags that are going to go around. Uh, this oval and again here's the uh, the top view so here's the, the oval that we were just looking at the flags are gonna go around like that um, so yeah they're, they're just gonna like really beautify this area and uh, you know I think it looks pretty nice let me know what you think in the comments below um, I think there were just a couple more things I wanted to point out Especially, we want to continue to emphasize that this is the Savior's house, and this is his church, he continued. And also, we'll make every effort to introduce some new thematic elements that will help visitors to Salt Lake. Um, we want them to think of Salt Lake just as easily as they think of Jerusalem or the Vatican as a place where Christianity really has its heart. That's really cool. Um, you know, an, inter an interesting thing about this whole project, both uh, Temple Square and everything that they're doing, um, let me know if you've had this thought as well, but I, I think that they're specifically doing this because they're getting ready for the second coming. Again, uh, <clears throat> this is mostly like a second coming channel, and I've mentioned so many times how President Nelson really uses a lot of language and a lot of interesting phrases. Um, referring to how the second coming is like really close and maybe even imminent and when i say second coming i am talking about all the different events that accompany the second coming including what i think will be one of the first kind of official parts of it uh the translation in the quickening we know that adam on, on the amen is also a second coming event where Christ will come again. He will literally come and he will be there. So for those that are in attendance at Adam on Diamond, that's going to be their second coming. And I don't know how Adam on Diamond relates to uh, 
the quickening of the church. I don't know if that's like a phased process. It, it to me, it seems like the scriptures seem to indicate that um, it's it's going to kind of happen all at once. Th those who are going to be raptured, there's going to be like a main body, and then later uh, others will join as they uh, become worthy to uh, also become uh, quickened or caught up. Anyway, uh, <clears throat> so I really think that what's going on here is that the church and President Nelson specifically is trying to get everything ready for when Christ comes again. Uh, I don't think that this is just kind of like, oh, you know, now now would be a good time. We need to update this place. And, you know, I don't think it's like that. I think that they're like, oh, crap, we're getting really close to Christ coming in. And we want to it's like when you have someone come to your house and you like scramble and you get everything clean. Uh, I know that me and my my family, we do that on like a regular basis. Pretty much the only time that our house is clean is when people are about to come over. Um, but I, I really think that that's what's going on here. Um, you have people, and actually he's the only one that I've heard say this, but you have people like um, uh, Brother Palmer on Watcher the Watcher Palmer channel. He believes that Salt Lake actually is the new Jerusalem that uh, it was initially intended to be in Independence, Missouri, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, Jackson County. Um, but now, you know, that's that's been scrubbed and now it's going to be Salt Lake. And um, I'm not going to say that that's not true. And I, I, I try and keep an open mind and I, I could see that possibly happening. Maybe this really is the New Jerusalem and the Salt Lake Temple is the um, is going to be that temple, the main temple. But um, I, I still kind of lean more toward the idea that New Jerusalem will be in Jackson County, but um, either way, that's something to maybe consider. If, if this is going to be the New Jerusalem, then it, it would definitely make sense that President Nelson would want to renovate all this and just get it just looking really good before Christ comes. So, um, so it's it's all just it's all just very 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 interesting, I think. Um, okay. So he goes on here, he talks about the, uh, he talks about what he, he's done and things that he said about like the church's welfare system and finances and stuff like that. Um, again, I'll link this in the description below in case you want to read this article. Um, there was one more part here I wanted to read. Uh, okay. So <clears throat> he says, actually it's closer to 70 temples that are in some process of design, development, and construction. Um, this is the most significant temple building time in the history of the church. What a statement. I, I think that's pretty incredible. Right now is the most significant temple building time in the history of the church. And that just makes you think about when President Nelson announced those 20 uh, temples all at the same time. So, you know, it. If you don't call, if you don't think that that's the hastening of the work, then I don't know what hastening of the work is. But that's really cool. And then to finish this off, when this temple project is complete, it'll be a wonderful and unique opportunity for you and your children, your and your parents and grandparents, to come to the open house. This temple has not been opened that way since it was dedicated in 1893. So this is just another very, very, very rare event that is happening right now um truly it's simply it's, it's truly it's a remarkable thing when any person church member or not can walk through a temple yes we have these wonderful models but they do not really give a true sense of the feeling and the love of the savior that exists within the temple so let me just give you an early invitation to come to the open house yeah so that that is really cool um Another interesting, something that I find interesting, uh, you may not, but um, this is all slated to be completed, um, to be complete in 2024. And that is the year that that second American eclipse is going to happen. Uh, that, that has to do with the concept that there's these two eclipses, one that happened in 2017 that went over America from coast to coast, which uh, is not common. Uh, eclipses are common, but for, for it to go across an entire continent, um, I read this somewhere that that's not 
that's not uh, very common at all. And then with them happening so close together, because there's going to be the, the other one that happens in 2024, um, both these eclipses, the first one went over Independence, Missouri, the site of the New Jerusalem, if, if that is in fact where it's going to be, and I think that it is. Um, it also went over the seven cities named Salem, and I know not everyone believe, you know, agrees that it was seven, but again, if there were at least like two, three, four Salems that it covered, then I, I take note of that. And then the one in 2024 <clears throat> is going to go over uh, Palmyra, New York, and it's also going to go over Kirtland, Ohio. So these two eclipses spaced seven years apart. And we're at the midpoint right now, just a little bit past the midpoint. Um, they went over really significant church sites. And President Nelson uh, plans to have this project complete by 2024, the year that that second eclipse occurs. Uh, and by the way, that eclipse, it happens, it's going to happen um, the Monday after General Conference. So we're going to have general conference, and then a day later, there's going to be the eclipse. So <laughs> I, I don't know how else you can interpret that other than that. It's at the very least, I, I think that's very, very significant. Um, so let me know what you think. Are you, are you excited for this? Are you in the Salt Lake area? Um, do you have any other details that, that I didn't cover in this video? Um, are you going to miss this uh, fountain like I am? The, this fountain, I took a lot of really great pictures there. As some of you may know, I'm a graphic designer and I also do photography and that's what I do uh, for a career. And I, I took some good photos right here and I, I'm, I'm gonna miss it because it was just like, it's it was so just like grand. It was like pretty spectacular. You know, there's large fountains out there. You think about like in Vegas, there's the Bellagio. Those fountains are incredible. Um, but this is like one of the better fountains out there, I think. It's just, it's really awesome. So um, anyway, so I'll just wrap it up here. Uh, please make sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Uh, like this video if you liked it. Hit the notification bell. And again, please leave comments. I would love to hear your thoughts about all this. I, I think it's pretty exciting. I'm sure you do too. Uh, just let me know what you think. And I'll talk to you later.